Hello, welcome back to Creative Vest International. If you are just joining me for the first time, I want to use this opportunity to welcome you. So today, I'm making a different uh, pattern of Zara cap. It's actually a Zara cap, but this particular cap, you can make it for a man and you can also make it for women. So if you are making for men, it means you are not going to be adding uh, the designs that I will be adding at the end of this video. So the height of my um, Marco is 1.5 inch. 1.5 inches and then the material I am using is a suede material suede mm -hmm. suede material and then I'll go ahead and cover the ma uh, the marco with uh, the suede material and then the length of the marco I have is about uh, 24 inches so the measurement of this marco is 24 by 1.5 okay so uh the total length of uh of suede i have is half yard but as you will see we are not going to use more than a quarter yard i know that uh, most uh, fabric sellers would not sell less than half a yard so don't even think of going to buy a uh, quarter but they will not sell all right so you just have to buy half of the yard of your suede and of course you can uh, wrap using the hot glue or you can wrap using your uh, liquid glue the fastest you can wrap with is the hot glue so it's hot glue i'm using so you can see that the height of this uh, cap is very uh, small and that's what i actually love about this particular uh, pattern of zara cap you know this particular pattern can uh, carry uh, fascinating embellishment more than the normal height of three inches so this is half of the three inches so after that i just place it on a foam and then cut out the circle giving a little space you can see that the circle is a little bit uh, wider than the uh not the circumference of the cap so we'll go ahead and use we cannot use hot glue for this process you will need to use your liquid glue so at this point you can either use a uh, evo stick you know that shoemaker glue or you can go ahead and use this liquid glue but if you ask my opinion i said i prefer the liquid glue which is a uhn so the liquid glue is going to help us attach it to the attach the foam to the material and in a very decent way all right if you use hot glue it's not going to be smooth it's going to be looking very rough your work will not uh, really have a good finishing so i will not advise that please so after doing this and ensuring that the foam is well seated on the fabric i'll just go ahead and begin to uh, glue it to the uh, circumference of the cap at this uh, junction it's going to look like the foam is bigger than the circumference of the cap but never mind uh the, the the difference is going to be tucked in to the uh, cap and then when we are done we can cut off the excess if you cut exactly the size of your uh 
local circumference you are not going to be able to sit it properly that is there will be no extra part for you to uh, glue to the body of the cap inside so the reason why we have that extra is so that we can have a space or we can have some that is going to be the excessive one that we will glue to the body of the cap and one thing i do when i'm doing this particular cap is the fact that while i wrap i try to balance it from both the front and the back before i go ahead to glue what i mean is that i try to see how it looks from um the back because at this point it is the back that matters most you know so that's just it so you can see i am done gluing and uh it's so uh perfect so if we are using it for male uh the part where you are seeing i join now will not be there because you know for the male own you are not going to be adding embellishment we have a better way to finish that off the mill all right but this is for uh ladies so that's why i have that lapping there and that lapping is going to be covered up with embellishment so what am i using to embellish i'm just going to embellish with this uh dog feather you know there there are so many feathers in the market it actually depends on how you use them or what you intend to achieve as you go about your production i always say one thing that whatever you achieve is a new design all right so long is good so we are using these feathers we go ahead and first of all sew it together and then after this i'm going to be using this uh tonguing machine so there are a lot of things that we use in our uh, shop or workshop yeah that we use in our workshop that people might not really think we need for instance the flat uh, tongue we use it you we use this uh, very tongue too we use hand dryer you know so you think ah do you want to open a salon no we need them all right so right now i'm going to turn these uh, feathers to roses for myself to use and uh, you can come up with different patterns for this actually so styling of feathers is one thing that makes you a good uh, designer in this business of headwears you know so you should be able to style your feathers you should be able to achieve what others uh, might not really think is possible okay so we just go ahead we keep rolling it one after the other and as we roll we try to spread it around like in a circular form so we roll to every direction not just rolling it facing one direction so we roll it like in a circular form so that it can flow all uh through okay so this is what i finally have so you can see that it's different from just having the feather to stand okay so at this point we'll go ahead and uh attach it to the cap this cap is low and one or uh, one thing that is the cash for me is the fact that it is low and it looks unique you know so using it is like different from what every other person is seeing out there and of course you can just like come up with different colors of it and you, you are good to go do a lot of embellishment you know ladies wear needs a lot of embellishment and you see the finishing and you'll be proud you did so now that we are done fixing the roses on it and all of that we are going to devise a means to cover so when you want to cover you can uh use a separate color of fabric or you can do same fabric like i am doing now i chose to do same I chose to do same fabric okay but sometimes it comes out better for me when i use different fabric inside you know it makes it it brings out this uh, uniqueness 
of the finishing of the art for instance if inside this now i happen to have a gold uh, uh gold yuri yuri inside you know it comes out better or maybe i have a silver so it gives it a very uh, unique and pleasant to the eyes look you know so at this point we are covering and you can see what i did to cut out the circle to cover but then that's not the only method you can use to cut out your circle to cover and one more thing i will have to say concerning this is the fact that this cap is uh, shallow that is it's not deep so because it's not deep we are going to be having our elastic on the side that is going to help us hold it to the head all right so that will be all for today's video we are done just carefully watch to the end you will see what i did to finish up with the cap so if today is the first time that you discovered our creative events international uh, thank you so very much a lot of people keep discovering me every minute and seconds of the day and i thank god that you happen to be one of those persons discovering creative events international today so i want to encourage you that if you are interested in this business the best channel you can actually subscribe to is creative events international because on this channel we tell you everything that you need to know all right so that you can become the best of the best the best of who you are you know and your clients will be pleased with your production so do well to subscribe to this channel and of course you can ask questions and i will respond to you all right so for now i will see you in my next video just watch to the end and ask any question you think is bothering you and i will come and answer you all right so bye you can see the finishing is so cool bye see you in my next video